So we said Kirchhoff's law is used. Kirchhoff, that's Kirchhoff's, right? Kirchhoff's law is used to reduce circuits that are too complicated to be reduced using series parallel method based on Ohm's law. It was invented by a German scientist or a German physicist called Gustav Robert Kirchhoff. That is Kirchhoff. Gustav Robert Kirchhoff. I know what people don't even pay attention into who invented it. Just all right. There are two. There are two types of Kirchhoff's law. There are two types of Kirchhoff's law. What is called? Kirchhoff's current law. Popularly called KCM. First is called Kirchhoff's current law, popularly called KCM. This is Kirchhoff's first law, and it's also called the junction rule. It's also called junction rule, depending on your author. Called the junction rule or junction law. It states that at any junction point, it states that at any junction point, comma, the sum of all current entering the junction at any junction point, the sum of all current entering the junction is equal to the sum of all current leaving junction leaving junction mathematically sum of current i in is equal to sum of current i r so you have this or you can say sum of current this is equal to zero right Sum of current entry in is equal to sum of currents leaving junction. This means that the total current, this means that the total or the sum of currents at any junction is equal to zero. That's this. This means that the sum of currents at any junction is equal to zero. So here's your equation four. Given a T junction as shown below, given a junction A, A, having current I1, I2, and I3 as shown below, Having current I1, I2, and I3 as shown below, we have this. Then we have that from Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, we have that I, sum of current coming in, so look at it. Coming into this junction is just I, I1, because you can see that I2 and I3 are leaving the junction. So hence I1 is equal to coming in is I1, leaving is I3 and I2 so becomes I2 plus I3. So it becomes the current equation for this junction. Because this one is coming in. So I1 is equal to the sum of current leaving the curve, the, second, the junction. That, 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 that is uh, Kirchhoff's uh, current law. Number two is called Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's 
can cause voltage loss, also called KDL. There's KCL, there's KVL. This first one is called junction rule. This one particular is called loop rule. This one is called loop rule. So KCL or junction rule. KVL or loop rule. It states that the it states that the algebraic sum of the changes in potential energy around any closed path of the circuit must be equal to zero. Must be equal to zero. So that's Kekov's um, loop rule. N slash B note. N slash B note. The potential difference Consists of EMFs. What's EMF? Electromotive force. Uh, electromotive forces. And IR. The potential difference consists of EMFs and IR. That's current voltage, current resistor. And IR drops. And IR drops. Drops. D R O P S. And IR drops across resistor. The loop rule may be written in equation form as the loop rule may be written in equation equation form as this uh, the sigma e plus phi r equals zero. Regardless. laws to solve problems and find current in resistors for complex um, resistor diagrams. Before that, please note some few things. Number one, please. When a current moves from number one, not only number one, when a current moves from high to low potential, when a current moves from high to low potential Alright, as shown below, so you have this When a current moves from high So this is, the process is high This is called a high, high potential Here yeah, it's called low potential please When a current moves from high to low potential, comma The voltage is taken as negative. The voltage is taken as so let's say this is V2. Alright, let's say this is V2 here. Yeah? The voltage here is um, V2. Or perhaps let's say numbers here. Yeah? Let's say here is let's say 3 volts. If the current is moved from high to low, then from here V or perhaps sum of current V will be equal to this becomes negative 3 volts. Because there is a voltage drop, please. This is called the voltage drop. When a current moves from high to low potential, the voltage value there is taken as negative. Why? There's a voltage drop from high to low. That's number one. Number two, when a current moves from low to high, that's the same value there, three volts. Negative, positive, a current moves this way. Alright, for this one here, when it comes to summing the voltage, it will be equal to plus 3 volts. Plus 3 volts. Why? It's a voltage gain. This case is because of voltage loss. Voltage loss. This one here is because of voltage gain. Alright. Cause of voltage gain. 
Number three, please just give us a pen. We'll see how we use them in some of Number three. Number three. Current flows from the positive to, to the negative terminal of the resistor. Current flows from the positive to the negative terminal of a resistor. Of a resistor. Listen to me. When it comes to 
getting, listen, when it comes to getting voltages using Kekhoff's law, uh, we work with voltages majorly. From Ohm's law, we know that voltage V is equal to what there? I R. So look at this. In this case, in this case, if I'm to find the voltage here, for this one here, the sum of the voltage V is equal to what you check is this. The given direction there, is it the same as direction of current? If yes, it will be what there? Negative. If no, it becomes what there? Positive. Look at this one, please. This direction is like this. Question. Is this same as the direction of current here? Yes or no? Yes. You can look at this. They say this way, it's going this way. Like this. And of course, that action is going like this. So it's the same one there, direction. So the voltage here becomes what? Let's say V1 will be equal to what there. Now V is equal to I1, R1. Since the assumed direction is the same thing as the current direction becomes what there? Negative. Becomes minus I1, R1. One last one. Look at this case, R2 and I2. So sum of V2 will be equal to, observe that the direction it says is going like this, like this, like going this way. If I change this, it's now like this. Direction says this way, but see that the current is going the opposite direction. So because of that, positive. So V2 is equal to what there? Positive I2, R2. So I have this. So, ladies and gentlemen, with these four conditions, you can solve any problem on Ketchup's law. If it's moving from a high terminal to low terminal, it's called a voltage drop, becomes negative. From low terminal to high terminal, it's called a voltage gain, becomes positive. If the direction is same as the current, it's between as what there, negative. Why negative? Because current is what there, positive to what? Negative. So if it's going this way, and it is going to the negative region. While in the direction is going anti-clockwise or in the opposite direction of the current, is taken as positive. So these are like the four basic conditions that we use in analyzing circuits under Ketchup's law.